Headed out to check a showing out and uh, we'll see you there. It's about a kilometer away. We're gonna find some nice mineralization, hopefully. Okay, so what you have here is called Holy Schist. And this here is called a rock. Most of the rocks you find on this claim are volcanic tuff. Is this here and uh, looks like on the side of the road you have some oxidized portions you can see you're staining from your sulfur and your oxides indicating there is some iron sulfides here so you can see the little bit of disseminated iron pyrite Looks like it's just a bit of disseminated mineral, so we'll GPS this location before we move on. Don't have a lot of daylight today. Got a late start, so don't want to spend too much time in one spot. So a good indicator when you're looking for minerals, basic thing you look for is oxidized rock, because oxidized rock indicates you have the presence of some kind of iron. There's different kinds of oxidization for different minerals, but you see this burgundy reddish rust color. You know you probably have some sort of iron or iron pyrite. And the difficult thing with this area is the host rock has between one and 5% disseminated pyrite with little to no value. So it makes it difficult for looking at spots where you think there might be some good mineral because everything is just oxidized. Take a look at this. First little showing we have here. So this is a nice sized vein, about 15 centimeters wide, basically solid iron pyrite. We'll get a couple samples off and show you. Here's a few of the samples you can see Basically just solid, coarse and fine-grained iron pyrite. You got a bit of quartz in there. So seeing as how it's just basically iron pyrite, I didn't see anything else under the loop. Probably don't have much if any values for base metals but there's a chance that you could find some some nice silver and gold in here and there's uh also some indium in this area we have another little showing here you can see the uh massive amounts of oxidization this is all super deteriorated and that contains iron pyrite you got iron pyrite in there you can see the chunks so what it looks like first glance is you have a good 15 20 centimeter wide structure vein structure going back all this right here contains pyrite this is all iron pyrite it's just super deteriorated and it's amongst the foliations of your schists all this down here all sulfides as well so it's probably quite a bit bigger it looks like there's some gouge material in here yeah, that's all iron sulfides mixed with gouge material. So we'll get another sample from this area. You can see the sulfides there. So nice beauty little showing. A couple pieces here. Take a look at this. See all the vugs here are just super deteriorated. And this is a quartz vein here. Definitely got quartz there. And take a look at this. This is also 
beside the vein. The vein's down here. This is a quartz vein that runs underneath. Little portions are bubbling up in here, but take a look at the sulfites. That's a nice sized exposure here. Really nice looking mineral. Here's some of the quartz here. And this is actually pretty common. You have your quartz here with mostly barren quartz and uh, you just have a little bit of iron sulfides and this actually probably formed around your quartz. Your quartz was deposited first. I partially mineralized the quartz and now it's eroding. This is a beauty vein. Look at how wide it is. So we've confirmed that it's from here all the way over to here, but then we see it down over here as well. So it's probably underneath here. I'd say this is a good half meter thick, which is a pretty decent sized vein. If there's good enough grades, it could be economical. So here's some of the samples we just pulled out. Just gorgeous mineralization. So this is an interesting area. About eight years ago, we actually pulled a bunch of tonnage off of this. And uh, you have three parallel veins here. One here, one right in here, and another one right here. This is the thickest one here. This one has a little bit of galena, sphalerite, pyrite, calcopyrite. You can see here you have, again, more quartz, but it's not mineralized. So most of the mineralization was actually outside the quartz. And then up here, you have more disseminated mineral a couple other stringers throughout here. So what we want to do is just grab a quick sample from this vein right here. Just popped in a couple nice chunks off there. So here you have your rock and your sample chlorate schist. It's a little tough and it's mostly pyrite and you can see sort of that grayish Mineral in between, that's sphalerite with a little galena. So this is a nice rich vein here. This is probably the, the most promising one that could still be worked. Good 20 centimeters wide. Some nice good grades. So there's a little sphalerite in there as well. So these veins, one was higher in copper, one was higher in silver, and one was higher in gold. This one here has a mix of all of them. And this is the highest with relation to gold. Here's a few more samples there. You can see the Galena and Svalerite. It's really brittle material. Here's a good example of your mineralization. Look at the pyrite cubes, they're huge. Up to an inch. But you got Sphalerite and galena in here. You got some magnetite. And there's a little bit of calcopyrite in there as well. This is just a gorgeous little vein here. Super mineralized. 
Here's a few more. Some very nice mineralization. Anyway, that's it guys. It's getting too dark to do too much more. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you next time.